Hello farmers, welcome to Greg Unlimited YouTube channel and today we are talking about uh, greenhouse farming and uh, specifically the wooden greenhouses. Yeah, so wooden greenhouses uh, are, are, are becoming very popular because one, they are very affordable compared to the metallic greenhouses and number two, uh, the materials are readily available. So when constructing wood and greenhouses, you need the following. One, you need the greenhouse polythene cover. Number two, you need uh, to have poles. You need nails. You need, uh, uh, you need nails, you need cocotto, and cement on rare occasions. So now during the construction, the greenhouse is raised very high, yeah, so that it doesn't become very hot. And then you have to allow for, you know, a ventilation system. Now, as you can see, we have, uh, we're using the clear polythene sheet, and we also have the yellow polythene sheet. But why did you, why did you decide to use the, the, the clear polythene sheet? The clear polythene sheet is very popular with vegetables. Yeah, if you're planning to do tomatoes, if you're planning to do uh, capsicum, I highly recommend you to go for the white polythene sheet. It's sometimes called sometimes called the nectarine uh, polythene sheet. Now, during construction, as you can see. Uh, the greenhouse has to be well ventilated. So there's the netting system that we've put around. Uh, so the net is to allow air to get in. Now, when you have proper ventilation, you're not going to suffer from diseases. So the ventilation are put on the side and also on the top of the greenhouse so that now air is able to get out. Air gets in through the sides and then it gets out through the roof of the greenhouse. Now, the other thing that I need to mention is uh, the net or the side net blocks uh, harmful pests from getting in so that now you don't suffer damage. So you can either choose to put the net uh, around the greenhouse or you can put on either side. Now the other thing is that during construction you have to be careful on the orientation of the greenhouse. It, it has to be well oriented so that now you get maximum light. Now the greenhouse has to have the drip system. When you have a drip system, uh, water goes directly or percolates straight to the root zone. Yeah. So Grecon supplies the double emitter drip lines. So once the drip system has, has been set up, the other thing that we do is transplanting of the seedlings. So once the transplanting has, take pl has taken place, they are going to stay there for the next three months, about 75 to 90 days. Then you're going to harvest for the next six months on good management. So if you would like to have your greenhouse constructed, kindly get in touch with us. So visit our website www.grecon.co.ke or you can call us directly on the numbers below the screen. Thank you very much and we look forward to working with you.